Hey, how's it going? Tim Warner here, welcoming you to this lesson I've prepared called How to Use Azure Pass for Microsoft Certification Preparation. If you're studying for your next Microsoft role-based certification, you're probably aware that hands-on experience is one of the three pillars of cert prep study. There's the conceptual understanding. There's understanding, for example, what tasks make up, say, the Azure administrator or the Azure security engineer, and how those features and tasks actually work from a theoretical standpoint. We can't underestimate the importance of a quality practice exam to hone your test-taking strategy. As a matter of fact, elsewhere in my YouTube channel, I have a couple videos, quite a few as a matter of fact, on developing your test-taking skills in the horizon of IT certification. But although the Microsoft exams as of this recording in spring 2021 don't have a practical lab hands-on component, you do need to know how to do the work. I mean, you earn your certification, that's going to get you through a human resources screen and get you into a tech interview hopefully, but ultimately you need to know how to do the work. So how can you gain this hands-on experience if you're just getting started, if you're not fortunate enough to have a credit-based subscription offer with Azure, or at work you have a development subscription? Those are great, but what if you don't? Well, I always recommend my students start at meetup.com and look for Microsoft Azure user groups. Why do I say this? Well, these Microsoft Azure groups, by and large, are sponsored at least in part by Microsoft. And in so doing, I know because I'm one of the board members of the Nashville Microsoft Azure Users Group here in Nashville, Tennessee, Microsoft will often give Azure passes to these Azure User Group organizers and will hand them out as raffles or door prizes or whatever. And so it's a good thing to think about how do I get an Azure pass because as you'll learn, this represents, let me switch to my next slide, an excellent credit-based subscription offer that has no payment method. Specifically, the Azure Pass subscription is a credit account. It's $100 USD or your currency equivalent. Once you activate the act once you activate the Azure Pass subscription, it goes for 30 days. So in a way, it's similar to the free trial account. If you burn through your credit before 30 days, then your resources are deactivated. However, if you've got credit left over after 30 days, it zeroes out. So it's not, the Azure Pass is not meant for production use, obviously, but it's quite ideal for learning an IT certification exam preparation. Now, you have 90 days from the day you get your promo code to use it. So the Azure Pass is time limited even if you don't activate it. And what I think is particularly cool is that no payment method is required. If you've already redeemed the Microsoft Azure free trial, you can only do that once and you do need to spe specify a payment method when you sign up for your free trial. With Azure Pass, you can redeem, in theory, as many of these as you want. However, only one per Microsoft account. So you may have to create additional Microsoft accounts, but there's no payment method required. Fun fact, for the Microsoft Azure free trial, the payment method that's required isn't there to pay for anything. In fact, your free trial, or the Azure Pass for that matter, will not, and I repeat, not auto-convert to a pay-as-you-go subscription. Instead, Microsoft needs that payment method as a way to prevent fraud. Let's do a demo. Okay, well, I'm going to walk you through the Azure Pass redemption process. Now, this process is not something that you can just apply for. It's uh, going to be a code that you're going to need to receive. And I've given you a little bit of guidance. I've given you meetup.com. And at the end of the video, I'll give you another link to a user group list where you can try to source an Azure Pass. But this website, MicrosoftAzurePass.com, is where you go to redeem your code, assuming you already have one. Now, you might know, if you know much about Microsoft Azure Active Directory, that when you start a new subscription, you're going to need to come in as a Microsoft account. And this is so that Microsoft has a proper authentication context for your account. So I'm going to want to sign in with one of my Microsoft accounts. Did I just do that? I hope so. Nope, I didn't. It looks like the above email address is incorrect. That's a Microsoft Azure AD account. So let me sign out of my own tenant and let me sign in again using what Microsoft calls an MSA or a Microsoft account. All right, let's provide me password and I'll stay signed in this time. Okay, so now that we've confirmed that I am using an MSA, we confirm the Microsoft account and notice that the very next thing we're asked to do is to prove that we have a promo code. So this is not a redemption portal. I mean, it is a redemption portal, but it's not a request portal, I guess is what I want to say. Let me open up VS Code. And of course, I have a code that I requested, and my friend Mike Pfeiffer over at cloudskills.io was kind enough to give me a second one. Thanks for that, Mike. I appreciate the hookup. And of course, displaying my code in plain text here is fine because it's 
not going to be worth anything in just a second because I'm going to redeem it. So let me paste that code in here and click claim promo code. As you can see, they're validating, processing the request. Do not navigate away from this page. Don't even refresh or press the back button, which I won't. Here we need to agree to the subscription agreement, offer details, and privacy statement. It would be worth your while to open these up and take a closer look at them to make sure that you agree. I just right-clicked and opened those in separate tabs. The Microsoft Online Subscription Agreement, the Azure Pass, which is formally considered a sponsorship subscription offer. And then we have the Microsoft privacy statement. I do agree. I don't want to share my information at this time, so I'll click sign up to continue. As my info is confirmed, do I want to submit anything else? No, I don't think I do. After confirmation, we're taken into the Azure portal, as you see here, and we need to confirm our Microsoft ID email address, which I will update now because I didn't like the one that was originally there. And if we jump over to the subscriptions blade, we can see our Azure Pass sponsorship subscription. Now, specifically what's going on here is gonna depend upon what else you might've done in Azure with your Microsoft account. If it's the very first time you're doing this with a new Microsoft account, then you'll be given a default directory, a new Azure AD instance. But I can see in my user menu in the upper right, I'm connected to my timw.info old directory that I've used for a long, long time. And I'm not exactly sure to be candid why the subscription was just directed here as opposed to a new empty tenant. But anyway, if we go to the Azure Pass sponsorship offer, I want you to see a couple things here. If we have another Azure AD tenant, maybe we've created a new empty one that we want to attach our Azure Pass to, we can do that on the overview page of the subscription blade by changing the directory. Just choosing the directory from the list and clicking change and we're good to go. Now, as far as billing information is concerned, notice that we need to do that externally. Unfortunately, the sponsorship subscription offers don't work if you go to the cost analysis blade. I really love this cost analysis tool, but it doesn't work with every subscription offer, unfortunately. So instead, you have to go to a separate portal. And a matter of fact, let me put an overlay on the screen now to show you the email address that you'll get once you've redeemed your Azure Pass sponsorship. And you can see a link in there to the sponsorship portal. And now what I'll do is put that Microsoft Azure sponsorships in another browser tab. Let me come over here, pop that in here. And this is where you can look at your usage and your balance for your Azure Pass subscription. And notice that we don't have the option on the toolbar here to convert this Azure Pass into pay as you go. Honestly, I couldn't find any documentation on whether that's possible. Normally, for example, when you do the free trial account, there's a button up here on the toolbar where you can convert your trial subscription to a pay as you go, but I'm not sure that that's possible with Azure Pass. And frankly, I wouldn't recommend it because what we're doing with the Azure Pass in our context here is that we're using it to gain hands-on skills in a sandbox test dev environment to support our Microsoft certification study goals. References I've gathered for you, and I need to remember to put these in my YouTube write-up as well, so you don't have to hand copy them. I have a link to the Azure Pass Home. This is timw.info slash ap1. The Azure Family Directory is put together by Sarah Lean from Microsoft. She's aggregated a bunch of user groups from around the world. So this is an alternative to using Meetup, timw.info slash ap2. And then if you're looking for some of the restrictions on Azure Pass, that's timw.info slash ap3. And again, it's confusing. So much of Microsoft can be confusing because it's such an enormous organization. There are a few different ways that you can obtain Azure Passes. For example, I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, or MCT, so when I'm teaching a Microsoft Official Curriculum course, I'm authorized to request Azure Passes for my students. And they have restrictions that may be a bit different in the fine print from Azure Passes that you receive, say, through the Microsoft Partner Network or through your Microsoft Azure User Group. So you just want to keep a look on the fine print to make sure that you're using the Azure Pass within the confines of the agreement. Thank you so much for your participation. I appreciate you very much. I hope you got a lot out of this video. You can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. I post on IT certification and Microsoft Azure nearly every day. I'm a full-time trainer at Pluralsight. You can find my Azure training there at timw.info ps. And my personal website is techtrainertim.com. Take good care. I'll see you around.